What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash back with another valuable video for you. Okay, so today I want to talk wealth 101, you know, building wealth forever. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you guys, you know, may know already, but there's a lot of things you guys need to know, you know, as far as making money online and how to build wealth for you and your family. All right, so let's get it, let's get right into it for those of you who may not know, you know what I mean? You know, trading time for money, right? Working a job will never make you rich. It is simply a vehicle to help you fund your dreams. Guys, that is complete facts, okay? You will never, ever get rich working a job, right? The people that you work for are the people who are, you know, making the millions of dollars. So when you go to your job, you know, you can't, you know, simply just take off whenever you want to. You're, you're pretty much... Someone has their thumb on you at all times. You have to ask, you know, you know, when can you go to the bathroom? You have a set time. You got to, you know, put in vacation hours to take vacations and all that. You know what I mean? So that's not uh, that's not something that you should want to do for, you know, 40 years of your life. Right. Or 50 years of your life. Some of you have already done it. Some of you are, are already doing it. And I know you guys are not happy and you want something different. So. You know, do do something different. You know, you can't continue to do the same things expecting a different result. That's insanity. Of course, we know that. Right. So you have to do something different to change your financial future. Right. Another thing you guys need to understand that I talk about a lot that can help you on your wealth journey is understanding credit, how to use it to make you rich. OPM, other people's money, guys. I've never in my life understood how you know, how valuable credit was until about a year and a half ago, guys, like, and I'm 29 now. So like at 28, I just now realized how powerful credit is when I did my research, right? So, you know, a lot of people's goals, you know, is a 700, uh, you know, credit score to 850. That's goals for them. You know, I want you guys to, <clears throat> I want you guys to understand that authorized users can literally take you from a 550 to a 760 depending on who it is what kind of credit lines they have you know how how big their limits are and how good their payment history is guys so if you have a horrible credit score right now you may have a grandmother or an uncle or somebody that's older who has credit cards that actually you know um has good standing they they pay their bills on time and things like that you can ask them to be, you know, if you can be an authorized user on their card. Now, they don't have to give you the card. It will just simply report to your, you know, your uh, credit karma or your the credit bureaus as you having the same limit as they do when you're making good payments. So that will literally boost you up hundreds of points, guys. That simple. You know what I mean? It's a couple other things you need to do as well. But you also need to understand a LOC, which is a line of credit, as well as credit cards, right? And you need to, you know, know what kind of credit cards to get. Now, I would always tell people to get, you know, cards with rewards, you know, cash back, airline miles and things like that. So that way, when you're using your card, you're actually getting paid to do that or you're getting, you know, some rewards for using your card. You know, you need to know things like how to get things removed from your credit report quickly. Right. How to get things removed. A lot of you guys, you know, have, you know, may have bad credit scores and you're like, man, I got so much stuff on there, whether it be a bankruptcy, student loans, uh, things like that, guys. All that stuff can be removed. There's no even need to stress. There is no need to stress over credit. Uh, what's on your credit? Guys, we have people out here that can remove those things within, you know, 30 to 60 days, right? Two to three months and it's off. All of it is off. Bankruptcies, anything. So, there's ways to get things removed. There's ways to get inquiries removed so you guys can apply for other things. And is there's no reason there's no reason to stress, guys. So stop stressing over your credit. It's easy to get fixed nowadays, and you can get it fixed and you know be in the 700s in no time, right? Uh, you need to learn things like you know using your credit card to pay off debt ten times faster. It's called velocity banking. Look it up if you have no idea what it is. Look it up on YouTube. You'll see tons of videos about how people use credit cards or lines of credit to pay off their debt ten times faster. It is nuts, right? And it works. So you also need to learn how to buy assets with your credit or your credit cards. How to buy homes, you know, how to buy, you know, real estate or land or whatever it is. Guys, your credit can literally take you to millions. 
I've always told you guys, if you don't know how to get, you know, uh, rich in cash, get rich in credit, guys. It'll take you so much further, right? Next thing you need to know on building wealth is the four quadrants. Where do you see yourself on this? Are you an employee at a job, right? Are you self-employed? Do you have your own little business? Are you a business owner, an investor? This is Robert Kiyosaki. He's the guy who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is his four quadrants, right? Most of us have been here or are still here, an employee at a job, or, you know, we started a little side gig like me. For me, I was here, then I moved to here, right? Because I had my, you know, videography business. I was shooting, you know, uh, pictures and doing videos for different people and things like that. So the, the, the thing about this one is like you think you're doing something, you know, with this one, but the moment those clients stop coming to you, you're not making any more money, right? Same way as this. The moment this job fires you, you're not making any money, right? So we need to move to this side of the quadrant, the business owner, you know, side of the quadrant and the investor side, right? Business owner, you own a system, right? Or you have people working for you. People work with you or people work for you, right? And so like, for instance, like a uh, YouTube, like, you know, say you are, if you own a YouTube channel, cause it's yours, right? You know, you own a system that's bringing you a passive income every month, whether you're there or not, right? That's that's what you that's where you need to be at, right? And as well as investor, right? You take the money that you make and you invest it, guys. There's no even need. It's no need to really just have a a savings account. All of the rich. The, let me tell you how the rich work. They take all their money and they invest it. Their money is sitting in investments. Uh, whether it be real estate, uh, the stock market, things like that. Their money is always working for them, right? There's no need to keep money in a savings account because they're only paying you less than 1% on your money. So that's not doing anything for you, right? So you guys want to make sure you get to this side of the quadrant if you're over here, right? You need to be a forward-thinking person, guys. The problem with people is they get stagnant. Right. And they, they get comfortable and then they end up losing big. Right. Losing way too big. So, for instance, you know, went from Blockbuster to Netflix. Right. I'm sure Blockbuster thought, ah, you know, we'll be around forever. Everybody loves Blockbuster. They love the experience. No one that would ever just sit around online and buy and watch movies online. You know, they like the experience of coming and p picking out their own movies. But guess what? Blockbuster's out of business, right? Taxi cabs are, are, let me go back. Taxi cabs are pretty much out of business. Well, not out of business, but they're getting closer and closer when it comes to Uber and Lyft and things like that, right? We went from hotels to now people doing Airbnb, staying in other people's houses or mansions or whatever it is for, you know, a fraction of the price, right? We went from, you know, everybody going to libraries and getting books to now people ordering books off of Amazon, right? Or Kindle or however you do it nowadays, right? We went from delivery drivers to now people doing Uber Eats and Postmates and things like that. We went from people, you know, making a living from college, or, you know, college was the way to go to now people making a living from the Internet, guys. So you have to be a forward thinking person. If you're already doing something, you need to be thinking 10 steps ahead of the game. So that way you never fall off. Your company never falls off. You're always being innovative, adding new things to whatever it is that you're doing and you'll prosper, guys. More money will continue to come in. Right. You need to learn as much as possible and then give back. Right. I go by the, you know, the saying, learn, do, teach. You learn something, you then do it, and then you teach it to others, right? YouTube and Google are your best friends, guys, forever. As long as they're around, you need to utilize these like you take showers, like you need to do it every day. Find something new every day. I'm constantly finding all types of material, you know, that I could, you know, learn and teach someone else, guys. How That's how I, you know, get my material for you all. So, YouTube... Google, learn how to fix your credit, learn anything, how to fix a car. Like you can learn everything on these two. You know what I mean? And as Zig Ziglar always says, help enough people get what they want and you automatically get what you want. That is very true. So always help people give back and, you know, just do right and do a service, you know, to other people. Right. Time and consistency. This is very important, guys. Realize it takes time. Right. It's going to take time. Right. You've been broke for, for your whole life. Right. So it's going to take time to get rich. It's going to take time to get wealth. But once you know that, you'll feel a lot better, right? So let's say, you know, it took you, you know, five years to finally make millions. That's better than 40 years. You know what I mean? So 
Stay consistent until you die. Consistency is very, 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 very important in whatever it is that you're doing. If you stay consistent, you will make a lot of money, guys. I promise you. Over time, you'll make a lot of money, right? If you give up, it shows you never really wanted it anyway, and you're you're content with your situation. So you're content with going to work every day, waking up to an alarm clock. You're content with not being able to live life on your own terms. If you give up, that just lets us know that you were never serious or you never really wanted it that bad anyway. Right. Write your goals down. Write your dreams down. Um, you know, dream extremely big. I forgot to put big, but dream extremely big. Right. You know, me, myself, I want a seven figure income by 35. I'm 29 now. Right. I want to live in a gated community. I want a 5,500 square foot mansion, house, whatever you want to call it, with a pool. I want to drive me a Jaguar XL. I mean, XJL. You know, I want the Ferrari Spider. I want an 800 credit score, 800 plus, really. Uh, I want to travel seven times a year. I want to speak to crowds over 5,000 plus people. I want to pass riches to my kids, and I want to help a thousand families hit six figures and above. So that's some of my goals, guys. I'm I'm outside the box, and I tell this kind of stuff to my, you know, the people around me. You know, a lot of my friends, they they like, man, that's crazy. They they might they might say, oh yeah, that's cool. But I could tell they probably think like, yeah, right. You ain't about to get there. But they don't even know half the stuff I do because I don't really tell a lot of people the kind of stuff that I do. They just know me for shooting videos. Videos. I don't really tell people that I got a secret life on YouTube, you know, doing business stuff. But um, yeah, so and I want you guys to know that God wants you rich. Right. So always give your tithes and offering. I, I know, you know, some of you may not believe in God or you may just believe in the universe and all that weird stuff that you guys, you know, some of y'all be believing in. But hey. I'm telling y'all, man, this is the only thing that God said you can test him in. Test him in, in tithes and offering, right? So, you know, I love these scriptures right here. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you, right? Follow God's plan, and all this stuff will be added to you, right? So, you know, given it shall be given, you know, unto you, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom, right? So we receive our money from people. Shall men give unto you? So, you know, you give and, and people will give back to you in different ways. You know, forms of money, forms of, you know, gifts or, you know, talents or whatever it is, right? Uh, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and he adds no sorrow to it, right? So you can literally follow his plan, you know, continue to just give your 10% when you get paid. The first thing you need to do when you get paid is give your 10% to Jesus. I know a lot of you probably don't believe in it. You're like, oh, I don't want to get no church, no money, or no pastor. Uh, forget all of that. God said test him in this area and watch how he work. I'm telling you, this works for me. I'm getting paid over here. You know what I mean? So um, the last thing is remember, you know, the Lord your God, he who gives you the ability to gain wealth. Guys, I have all the scriptures up here. This is Deuteronomy, Proverbs, Luke, and Matthew. So check these out. And the Bible does say, and I repeat, if any if any would not work, then neither shall he eat. So if you don't work, you don't eat. But he never said you had to have a job. He just said if you don't work, you don't eat. There's a lot of ways to work without a job. But I'm just saying. So just in all in all, guys, if you don't, you know, work, put in that work and grind, you can't expect to, you know, receive any fruits of, of the labor that you're not even putting in. So, you know. I ain't mean to get all spiritual on y'all, but I, this is just what works for me, guys, and this is what's working for me. So I want you guys to take these principles, right? Take all of these, you know, take the quadrants, understand, you know, that this credit thing is real. You can make a lot of money with your credit, your credit cards and all that stuff can make you very wealthy. Other people's money, guys, understand, you know, that, you know, you need to be a business owner and investor in order to gain wealth. You need to be a forward thinker. You need to learn as much as possible and then give back, guys. And if you do these things, I can assure you that you will make millions of dollars. Man, it's just nuts. You will make millions, guys. But you have to stick to it. You have to dream big and continue to grow and continue to learn new skills and learn new things. Just never give up. I don't care if you've been online, like I said, for five or six years and you haven't made a dime. Continue to go. Continue to learn. Right. Uh, with that being said, if this video inspired you, helped you out, any, give me a like, drop some comments on what you, you know, what you liked about it or whatever it is, guys. But understand that. All this stuff can help you, especially this. I love credit, man. It's lit. But other than that, guys, I am out of here. Peace. Enjoy the rest of you guys' night.